Happening later this morning, the big story, a total solar eclipse. We are just a few hours away from this rare phenomenon. Yes, the total eclipse will be seen across the U.S. For us, of course, here in California, it will likely be a partial eclipse. But let's go to Connor Hansen live in Buffalo, New York, to talk about it. Good morning. Good morning. That's right. We're here in Buffalo, one of the biggest cities on that path of totality, expecting thousands of people to be out here today watching it. The state of New York expecting upwards of a million people to come to the state and see it, hopefully with a clear sky. You know, yesterday when we got in, it was perfectly beautiful, clear blue skies. Unfortunately, it's looking a little bit clouded, a little bit cloudy here today. We're hoping that clears up. We're still still not sure around two o'clock is when we'll start to see uh, the eclipse start. The total eclipse won't be until around 320. Of course, everyone's supposed to have these special glasses. Of course, you're not supposed to stare directly at that sun during it or else you can seriously injure your eyes. But we're in a beautiful park right here in the heart of Buffalo where they're expecting hundreds of people to be out here watching. We'll be out here throughout the day talking to them, hearing what they have to say, how they react to this uh event that you really only see a couple times in your life you know after this most parts in the u.s won't be able to see another total solar eclipse until 2044. there are like uh, uh, eclipse chasers right so people like from all over the globe mm -hmm. really descend on all these areas hoping to catch it again and people often miss it because you never know what the clouds are going to be like so when you uh drove into buffalo uh, I don't know, was it yesterday, the past couple of days? Uh, did you notice a lot of traffic there, a lot of tourism? What does Buffalo look like today as they prep for this event? Well, I have to say it is a little bit quiet right now, but one thing that you will notice all around New York, if you're driving around, there's signs up, a warning about potential traffic. A lot of the state that'll be in that path of totality, you know, Buffalo's uh, probably the biggest city in it, at least for the state of New York, but a lot of small towns in there that aren't necessarily ready for all of that traffic. So signs all over the place saying expect delays, people asking gas stations to top off their gas reserves, making sure the tanks are full, electric cars are charged. And, you know, there's been officials of the state of New York, they've been working on this for about two years, getting ready, preparing as if there were a major weather event coming. So hopefully everything runs smoothly, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, Connor, I saw in some other states, governors are actually declaring states of emergency <laughs> because the worry of millions of people descending on their states and kind of overwhelming all of their emergency systems. Exactly right. And even in some of the smaller towns, you hear people stocking up on food because they're worried people are going to come in and buy up all their supplies. But uh, here in Buffalo, of course, Niagara Falls is nearby. We're expecting that to be a huge destination. On the Canadian side of Niagara Falls, they have declared a state of emergency. That way they can expedite those emergency services and get things quicker. So we're just really seeing them not quite sure what to expect, but they're preparing just in case. Um, I hope Fox has, has you covered and you and your team are, are prepared and ready to go with those glasses. <laughs> he wants to we, make sure everybody has glasses. We don't have, <laughs> I don't think we've been talking about it enough yes. here because we're going to get we've like... we got them right here. Go, good, good, good. Oh, you have a cool pair. Yeah. yeah. It's only like 50% here in Los Angeles, yeah, so we I haven't like been like, you know, going crazy like other parts of the uh, country, so we're not really that prepared. we, we got to try to figure something out here. All right, Connor, thank you so much. Uh, we will check well, in. Well, it's been good to see everyone has the glasses. Last year, there was a shortage. Oh, oh yeah. last time, yeah, I should right, say, yeah. in 2017, so, if you remember that. Yeah, we do. We <laughs> saw that one. We saw that one, Connor. All right, thank you. We will check in with you throughout the day. Uh, thanks, Connor. You know, I saw actually, I'll tell you about it in a little bit. Look, right now, as many people plan to capture the eclipse, some cell providers say they are ready for an uptick in usage. Companies like AT&T say they're expecting surges in network usage with many users planning to post and live stream the event. Astronomers say locations in the path of totality can expect sharp increases to cell service usage. Some providers are also implementing additional capacity, which could prevent major outages. So on that note, mm -hmm. just saw a picture this morning on, on Twitter, on X, and it was of a plane, the bunch of people on the plane, and mm -hmm. I guess the flight attendant had asked, they're flying to Little Rock. Mm -hmm. Who's going to see the, the eclipse. eclipse. Mm -hmm. Almost everybody on the plane with their wow. hands up. But, you know, it's nice to see people excited about something yeah. so innocent, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. cool and educational. Have you been to Little Rock before? Of course. Okay, so yeah. I've been to Little Rock. I mean, mm -hmm. there's, it's a nice town. There are, um, Who's flying to Little Rock? <laughs> They're going there. I, 
It's a nice. I said it was a nice town, but of course, like that's like saying no of, offense. A plane and then full of people offensive. going to Little Rock. <laughs> there's a reason they're going there for the eclipse. It'll be really cool to see. All right, if you <laughs> us here locally, I like Little Rock. I okay. went to the bridge to the 21st century. <laughs> The Clinton Library is there. Partial eclipse here in Los Angeles. We're looking at 50%. So I want to show you the timing for all of us out there. You're getting up this morning. You're wondering, when should we head out there with our eclipse glasses to check out uh, the partial eclipse? Uh, we're looking at uh, the start of it at 10.06, all right? Set your alarms around 10.06. And then this is good for us to remember, set another alarm for around 11.11. That's where we're, we're going to see it at its peak here in Los Angeles. And it's going to be pretty good viewing here because we, we're looking at, uh, you know, possibility of some clouds, but for the most part, we're looking at a nice sunny day, lots of sunshine and, uh, and a clear day. So we will see this partial eclipse.